Hey everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampitCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me for another video tutorial today. Today we are going to be making a card using the Hooray for Surprises stamp set and die. So this comes in a bundle. You save 10% when you order it in the bundle form. You order both together. And this, this is a really awesome set. We haven't had one like this before um, because these... Uh, some of these dies have perforations, and they're meant to be pulled up to reveal something. So um, we have several that have the perforated set. We have this long uh, tab one. We have a heart. We have a cir uh, two sizes of circles. So we're going to use this one today, plus some of our little heart dies. We have another one. There it is. Or not heart dies, they're flowers. We <laughs> use these three flower dies and the um the petal or the not the petal, the leaf. Okay. I'll 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 figure out what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay. I have already stamped and die cut just to save some time because I think most of you probably already know how to do that. So we are going to make a fun cheery birthday card today. I'm using events on um, my blog, so make sure to check that link. Here is uh, a piece for the inside. We'll stamp that in a minute when we do our other stamping. And then on the front of our card, we're using a piece of designer paper. This is from the Softly Stippled um, Celebration Paper. So Celebration is going on for January and February. For every $50 you spend, you get to pick something out of the Celebration Catalog for free. So, we have lots of designer paper. This is the one we're using for our card today called Softly Stippled. And then um, we have a few items for the $100 level. Uh, this is a whole die set. You get 15 dies, and then this is a $50 level. So, if you were to spend $150, you get a bundle for free if you want. So um, this week I'm kind of focusing on some of the designer papers along with our love cards. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I want to put a gift card in my birthday card. So this is, uh, this is not included. <laughs> this is um, a used gift card that I had. So I want it to go into the front of my card so that when they pull it open, they can see and pull the gift card out. So what I need to do, I need to close the front of my card because I don't want my gift card falling out. So I wanna give myself enough room to, um, to glue my paper down and still hold my gift card. So I'm going to mark the top of my gift card lightly with a pencil so I can see where that is because when I pull my strip open, I want to be able to see that there's a gift card in there. So I am going to put my lines right at the top of my perforation so that when I put my gift card in, they'll see that poking through the, the hole that comes out. Everybody understanding that, I hope? Okay, so this is where I want to die cut my, my uh, strip. So let's grab our cut and emboss machine. You can see I have my magnetic platform that has been well used. I might even put that just a little bit lower. I'm going to scooch that over just a hair. Okay, and then make sure that's as even as I can get it. And then we're going to run this through. So you can see here that that is cut. I don't know if you can see from the back. Let's see, yep, you can see. So it's got perforations that's holding it in. I'm gonna erase my lines. Okay, we're gonna do a little stamping. I left, uh, I wanted my tab on the right and I need this to do a little decorating. So we're gonna do our stamping first, and I'm using shaded spruce. 
and I am going to stamp. Hope your birthday is wonderful on the front. These are all stamps from the die set or from the bundle. Cute. And then on the inside, I'm going to do make a wish. Okay, we'll do that up at the top. And I am going to do a flower. I'm using um, pumpkin pie today. Where's our flower stamp? Have you ever put your stamps uh, on blocks and put them in a box and then they stuck together and you couldn't get them open? <laughs> I do have that problem occasionally. So I'm just gonna add a little flower on the inside because why not? Very cute. All right, this is going to adhere inside of our card. close this up. Now I want to glue this to the front of my card. Now you want to put your uh, gift card in here when you go to glue it down. So I'm going to make sure my gift card is showing halfway to my perforation. And then I'm just going to use some uh, liquid glue to glue this down. I don't want it to slide over or come up, but I don't, you don't want to have your glue on your perforation. So make sure it's above it, but not below it. All right, and this is where you would glue your gift card in to, and we're going to open this and then I'm going to figure out how to close it so I can use this again for one of my kids. Whoops, I didn't get that over all the way. Let's put that down and lay that down again, a little bit more to the left. Okay. So now I have put my gift card in. Now I am going to just pull this so that you're gonna know, and I'm, I was supposed to stamp pull, that was the other thing. We have a little word in here. It says, um, pull or for you, that you can stamp on the little tab so that they know they have to pull that. And then let me show you how that works. And then we're gonna finish decorating it. Isn't that cute? Well, let's decorate it first, then we'll pull it. We'll let it dry for a minute. Okay, we're gonna decorate. So I've already stamped three of the flowers and die cut those, and I use pumpkin pie. So the trick is I wanna decorate, and I can cover this a bit, but I don't want to um, um, like put adhesive on that because I want them to be able to open that up. So let's use, I'm just gonna use one dimensional in the middle of each of these flowers. I'm going to put that one there. Let's grab this one. We'll put this one below. And then this one can be overlapping near the bottom. I'm going to have that top one on, that center one on the top. All right, I'm going to take, let's take a little bit of Wink of Stella and just do the center of our flowers. You could do the whole thing if you want. Then I have die cut two of the pink ones. Now it's got little, little dots that can come out. We're not gonna worry about that because we are gonna cover that. So I'm just gonna pop these up as well. And do one right here and then one down here. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna tuck it right under that one. Okay, then I have die cut two of these little teeny flowers, and those are out of Daffodil Delight. And we are going to just glue these on top of the pink flowers. Just need a little bit of glue. 
cover up all those holes. I don't, I don't particularly like the holes. So I'm gonna cover them up with those, with little centers. And then I die cut two leaves out of shaded spruce, which is the ink color we used. And we're gonna just put a little bit of glue on these and glue these down. I'm gonna do one up here. Oh, that's on top of my my perforation. I don't want to, don't put it on top of your strip. Okay, let's do the other one and hold on to it. If you're messy with glue, don't do this holding over your project. Okay, let's do this one, maybe coming up right there. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of bling. I'm gonna bring in my rhinestone basic jewels. I had a whole sheet of the little ones, so that's what we're gonna use. We're just gonna fill in with a little bit of sparkle. One right there. Maybe we'll do one down here. If you wanna add more, you can. And that is our card. Isn't that fun? Look at that. Now, I'm gonna pull this just so I can show you. I'm hoping it will come through in theory. So let's pull this open, see what happens. There is our gift card. Look, I can pull it out because, whoop, what is that? That was something clear, that was weird. Oh, that's something that's on my gift card, look. <laughs> I didn't know that was on there. You know, I've used this so many times and I didn't realize that. Interesting, okay. So, if you, what I'm gonna do is put this back on and then I'll probably just put a little bit of, a little bit of this so I can reuse it just in a couple little spots, just enough to hold it on. And then I can put a new gift card in there because I've already, this one's spent. But isn't that cute? Isn't that a fun little idea? You could put that on the inside too if you wanted. You could put that here uh, and then just decorate the whole front or you can do it on, I thought it was kind of fun to do it on the front. So I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed today's projects. I will post on my blog the list of supplies, the measurements, and um, and then a, a host code. So if you want to order this and then earn that gorgeous um, softly stippled paper for free. All right. Thanks everybody for stopping by today and I will see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.